We feel badly that there was a loss of life. But unfortunately, Mr. Gardner made a choice that day to resist arrest. The issue is larger than just the police in the community. Our overall, our overall system of justice must be strengthened and it must be made more fair. The head of the country's largest police union and Attorney General Eric Holder in the wake of a grand jury's decision not to indict a New York City police officer in the death of an unarmed black man. And it's time now for our Sunday group. Britt Hume, Fox News senior political analyst. Former Democratic Congresswoman Jane Harmon, director of the Woodrow Wilson Center. Syndicated columnist George Will and Fox News political analyst Juan Williams. So, Britt, do you think protesters have a legitimate complaint as they march across the country in arguing about uh, police targeting minorities and about uh, grand juries prosecutors protecting to some the extent, police. perhaps, Chris, yes. Um, but I, I would take issue with the term targeting. I don't think that's been very well established. But look, I don't doubt that police departments across the country could learn to deal more skillfully with the minority communities that they serve. I don't think there's any doubt about that. On the other hand, what, st what strikes me about this whole controversy is, and you hear it in the remarks of the president and in the remarks of his attorney general and others, which is the utter lack of balance in their s sense of what's wrong here and what needs to be fixed. They talk a lot about police departments and the need for reform. Do they address at all the pathologies within these African-American communities where a disproportionate amount of crime, disproportionate to the size of their, uh, their presence in the population, all these crimes are committed? No. Do they talk about the failing schools, the broken families, and all the rest of it which contribute to these problems? Uh, it is all on one side. They want to fix police departments, but they don't want to fix the deeper problems that exist in, that, in, the, in those communities, at least in, in their current discussions of the subject. And it's way, way out of balance in my judgment. We asked you for questions for the panel, and we got this on Facebook from Ron Koch, who writes, Why is it always a racial issue when these kinds of cases unfold, and why does this administration stick their noses in state affairs? Congresswoman Harmon, uh, how do you answer, Ron, and specifically, is the Justice Department justified in launching civil rights investigations in the case of Staten Island, in the case of Ferguson, and other cities around the country? Well, first, let me give a shout out to special forces uh, who tried heroically twice to rescue an American in Yemen. We're going to be talking about that in the okay. next segment. But also to the NYPD, which has kept us safe after 9-11. They were heroes, along with the New York Fire Department. Uh, I think this uh, uh, person who's, who's just asked the question is wrong. Uh, I, I think in, in both of these recent cases, uh, there has been a black man uh, who has died at the hands of white police, uh, but I don't think we should exaggerate this. I want to go back to something Britt said. It seems to me we should have a conversation about what uh, the pathology of black families and other families in inner cities. And I think President Obama is perfectly... Uh, 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 suited to lead this conversation. Yeah, but he never has. has well, he? now he should, and but his he, administration he, he, should you don't too. Sense he's going in that direction. Well, I do don't you? know where he's going. He's given a couple of good statements about this. He sent Eric Holder out, and I think if we can have this conversation uh, in this country, including a conversation about income inequality, uh, this could be Obama's finest moment, and I hope that he reaches for this moment and does this. One of the things that I learned this week is that a civil rights investigation doesn't necessarily have to do anything with race, that it, it, it is about, in, in this kind of case, it's about an officer of the state uh, using his or her powers to violate someone's constitutional rights, in this case, unreasonable seizure of their, of their person. George, does the Garner case, that the fellow who was choked, allegedly, <laughs> it seems to me pretty clearly, in Staten Island, does that meet that standard? Oh, absolutely. The, the viewer who suggested that the federal government is acting without warrant to intrude into a state business uh, doesn't understand that the 14th Amendment and laws passed pursuant to that to protect emancipated African Americans from arbitrary state power in the Reconstruction South gives this the color of law and the federal government is doing what the, the amendment and the laws are supposed to do, which is to, in this case, examine not whether racial discrimination was involved, but whether perhaps, for example, disproportionate force was involved. Here you have Mr. Garner accused of an utterly trivial offense that shouldn't be an offense, selling cigarettes to willing buyers.